Less than a week to go before the New Hampshire primary next Tuesday. And so far, former President Donald Trump's legal troubles don't seem to be an issue for voters. In fact, they may be helping him. WCNC Charles Bree Jackson reports from Washington. Former President Trump's biggest challenge in New Hampshire is shaping up to be former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. Her campaign says it is ready to take on Trump directly, depicting his campaign as one of drama and dysfunction. Meanwhile, Trump's team is vowing to go after Haley's reputation and image. It is like a, truly a winter wonderland out there. The battle for the Republican presidential nomination moving to New Hampshire. Former President Trump touting his massive Iowa caucus win to supporters in the Granite State. The largest margin of victory in GOP history. Is that good? Is that good? Trump returned to the campaign trail Tuesday night after spending the morning inside a New York courtroom. His civil damages trial is underway. The former president also faces 91 felony charges from other cases. I got so many court cases. I've been indicted more than Alphonse Capone. You know who Alphonse is? <laughs> Greatest gangster of all time. Donald Trump. Meanwhile, his Republican rivals are making the case that they should be the party's nominee. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis placed a distant second in Iowa, edging out UN Ambassador Nikki Haley. She does not have the ability to build the type of coalition that you need to win a Republican primary period, much less take on Donald Trump. Polls show Haley within striking distance of Trump in New Hampshire. She's looking to build momentum. We needed to be strong in Iowa. We need to get stronger in New Hampshire. We need to be even stronger than that in South Carolina. This is just about continuing to build. New Hampshire voters say Trump's dominant win in Iowa won't impact their primary vote. No. No. We're independent here in New Hampshire. Haven't you heard that? I'm independent, so I'm going to vote who I want to vote for. Republican presidential hopefuls all vying for a chance to face off against President Biden in November. And despite being the front runner, it appears former President Trump is not taking any chances in New Hampshire. He's scheduled to hold multiple rallies and speeches heading into the state's primary next week. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News.